Now you guys know I'm all about my bugs. All right, I'm I'm bug I'm bugged out. I'm a bug fanatic. I'm I'm bugging. All of all of those bug adjectives. I'm with it. I know I did pest control for a while, and I got really interested in bugs, and well, Sam Onilla puts up a video about bugs, and I'm saying, you know what, I need to see a video about bugs, man, where are my beetles at, baby? Where are they at? Now, this guy's got great ironic content, great funny content, and you know, maybe he's not being ironic when he makes some of these things, but his comedy is impeccable, alright? My, my favorite video, the last one I did was the, the doggo video, some people were interested in, but it was a great video, so let's do it. It's got a... It's about a beetle. Let's watch it. Link for the original, of course, in the description down below, man. Let's just talk about this for a minute. Hey kids, before we get started with today's video, I wanted to give a warm welcome to all my new subscribers. My sub Swag. count basically quintupled just in the past day or so, which is really cool, so thanks for that. Anyway, today I'm going to talk about the Bombardier Beetle. So yep. here's what he looks like, right? It is. Already you can tell he's kind of a prick. He just looks like an oh. ant that one day decided to stick a sunflower seed on his back, thinking he's all creative, like, yeah, I'm original now, I'm my own insect, got the junk in the trunk for the ladies, no big deal. That's just the picture Wikipedia shows, though. There are a bunch of other species of bombardier, most of which look a little more unique, so I'll give him some credit. The cool thing about the bombardier beetle, though, has nothing to do with appearance. It's actually the fact that this creature has some pretty awesome weaponry up His butt explodes. No spoilers. But sleeve. The beetle is actually capable of shooting a foul-smelling chemical spray from its back end. And it doesn't even have to eat Chipotle beforehand, am I right, ladies? Uh, anyway, the spray contains, among other things, a compound called 1,4-benzoquinone, which is quite irritating to vulnerable tissue, like Ew. eyes or mouths. Couple that with the fact that the mixture comes out at a temperature close to the boiling point, and you've got a pretty gangster arthropod on your hands. <laughs> One could liken the Bombardier beetle to the common Tumblr feminist. Whenever it feels what? even slightly threatened, it starts pulling shit out of its ass in an effort to be as unnecessarily inflammatory as possible. <laughs> even more interesting than the sp That's so wrong! That is so spray wrong! Spray itself, though, is the way the beetle pulls it off. It starts out with two different substances, hydrogen peroxide and hydroquinone, each of which is stored in a separate reservoir in the body. Then whenever the bombardier gets his jerrys in a jostle, he releases either chemical in into a, a single chamber. Once they mix, these chemicals react violently with one another, producing a bunch of heat and gas. The pressure from the gas is what propels the liquid out of the chamber and into the face of anything nearby. Yep. Fortunately for the bombardier, the pressure also seals off the entrances to the reservoirs, so as to stop the thing from, you know, blowing itself up. As soon as the pressure is released, though, the valves reopen and the process can be repeated. And this whole cycle takes place within the course of a couple milliseconds, meaning the average beetle could fire anywhere from 5 to 20 blasts within a fraction of a second. Once this video is over, you guys should look up some slow-mo videos of the bombardier in action. I think we've done that before and I'm actually going to do it again in this video, for I sure. I can't show you here because of copyright and all, but it's pretty cool, so go check it out. Anyway though, this system of using pressurized gases both to launch projectiles and to regulate the chambering process is actually somewhat similar to how guns like the AK-47 work, so I thought I thought it was pretty neat how this creature managed to evolve something so mechanical in nature. I just hope the NRA doesn't catch wind of these guys. If the government takes away our chemical weapons, only the bombardier beetles will have chemical weapons. Then what, man? Then what? Hey, do you guys remember how the Flintstones always used to use animals as tools? Like that pelican cement mixer? You know, it's all having. Well, it's a shame the writers didn't know about the bombardier beetle, because it would fit right in with their primitive shenanigans. Wilma's walking home late at night, right? You hear someone sneaking up on her, hand on her shoulder, BAM! Prehistoric pepper spray. <laughs> then when he's down, Bam! she whips out the eel. BAM! Prehistoric taser. He thinks it's over, little does he know, she's got a cicada on a string around her neck. BAM! Prehistoric rape whistle. Police come, <laughs> take him to jail, he serves a sentence, after a while he gets granted parole, things finally looking up for him, and that's when they stick the parrot on his shoulder. BAM! Prehistoric Megan's Law. Hey, so uh, I'm kinda, I'm kinda new around here, and so... <laughs> Legally, I'm obligated. Rap, he's a pervert. <laughs> uh, well, what he means to say is. Kitty diddler. Rap. What? Okay, first Kitty of all, nobody diddler. got diddled, let alone. Once a rapist, always a rapist. Rap. Anyway, uh, what was this episode rapist, about? Always right, right, right. a Bomber rapist. Beetle. So, uh, yeah, that's all for today. Till next time, I'm Salmonella, and thank you for watching. Salmonella Academy, bro. Thanks for all your great random facts and all your fantastic animations but check this out so here's some clips of this a thing being a, being a beetle some mantises are so large and strong 
they can even kill small birds. Check this out. A bombardier beetle should be easy. And we not. Whoa! Get your bitch but ass off one. me, bruh. He's like, hell no, man. What the fuck? A fraction of a second after the mantis strikes, the beetle squirts hot gas and plastic ah, chemicals ah. in its face. Out of its butt, man. It's crazy. The chemicals are produced by a reaction in its abdomen, which generates enough heat to bring the liquid close to boiling point. The bombardier's spray can be deadly to smaller creatures. But the mantis is large, and it survives. He definitely don't want a piece of that shit, though. And mantises, as we saw before, like how that mantis skinned that uh, stick bug alive in that other uh, Bug Wars video, they don't really kill things very quickly. They definitely like to immobilize, uh, take their time killing the, their prey. So. That's why it's a little bit different. Here we go. Now that is not a cute face at all. <laughs> the bombardier beetle is one of nature's most improbable creatures. I mean, they all go around and gonna say the same thing, right? But idea of evolution. It is pretty fascinating, either way you look at it. Now you notice how close they have to zoom into it to make it look big, right? And they have that, uh, you know, makes the sand even look big, the sand pebbles even look big. cloud you see is the result of a lightning fast chemical reaction inside his body. And I don't think that they are necessarily immune, like their, their exoskeleton is necessarily immune to the spray. I just think it's definitely one of those adaptations where they just get used to the feeling. When attacked, the beetle sets off the explosion, releasing a boiling hot <laughs> stinging poison that sends his enemies running. He can even aim it. Yeah, so it yeah, definitely doesn't just uh, shoot randomly for sure. Beetle is made up of three main ingredients. Now that's where I wanted Mix to get a better first. look inside of their body. Because one thing that's kind of confusing is you know when you get it's just simple like two little things, like how it's how it's regulated, but here's a better look inside of the actual beetle. These little ribs, obviously when you contract and close, it's easier to understand how it's controlled when it's depicted like other, this. Nothing happens, but throw yeah. the third and boom. And that's how it's easy for it to close off and be regulated, so it doesn't just kill itself so all the, the time. Now that is one of those situations where if you crush it, it'll pop, right? He keeps these ingredients separate inside his body. From an evolutionary standpoint, that's what's interesting. In fact, people have been scratching their heads over this for decades. How did this complex system evolve over time? Wouldn't earlier generations of beetles have blown themselves up like a bunch of amateur bomb makers? To some, this beetle's very survival is proof that the whole theory of evolution is wrong. Really? I don't think but so, it dude. Turns out, there is a way this system could have evolved gradually. Remember that third ingredient? It's an enzyme. It's like a spark. It sets the explosion in motion. And oh. enzymes evolve. Right. At first, maybe this one wasn't so dangerous. But gradually, it became more potent, more specialized, more explosive. That actually makes a whole lot of sense. I was kind of confused. body changed to contain it. Because I was like, I never really thought of that would disprove evolution. But if you put it that way, it actually really Scientists would. at UC Berkeley are trying to figure out how this system came together. They think one of those explosive chemicals evolved from the same raw materials as the beetle's shell. That happens a lot in evolution. It's called exaptation, one body part repurposed for something else. Mm. The improbable bombardier beetle. Living proof that what doesn't kill you only makes you stronger. Brew, ha. What a feel good way to end that. Well, Chavez Slovakia, thanks for joining me for this video. Uh, definitely wasn't what I expected when I first started it, but I've got really interested on the way. Also, I gotta re-angle my camera. I've been wondering why I've been so low in the videos lately. My hydraulics, my 
damn chair fell down a little bit, so now I look like extremely short in my own fits. I gotta fix that, so don't worry about that. We'll see you in the next one, dude. Y'all take it easy, man. We'll, we'll, we'll see you next time. Peace. Crocs, 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 Crocs. I'm rocking Crocs. I'm rocking Crocs. I'm rocking Crocs. Wearing Crocs, boy. I'm rocking Crocs. I'm rocking Crocs. I'm rocking Crocs. Wearing Crocs, boy. My Crocs are gold. My pops is old. My Crocs got soul. My Crocs are bold. I go to church. Wearing Crocs. I'm always turned. Wearing Crocs. My Crocs are great. Your Crocs are lame. With my Crocs, I can cross a lake. Crocs, 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 Crocs. Crocs, 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 Crocs.